This week, something happened in the world of AI and robotics that feels like a plot twist from a futuristic thriller, but it's very real, and it's happening now. Robots didn't just evolve. They crossed a line we didn't expect them to reach so soon. In China, they're battling each other in full-scale, humanoid fighting tournaments broadcasted live, like it's the next UFC. In people's homes, they're being trained to care for the elderly with astonishing human-like behavior. And in the U.S., military robots are being built to survive full-blown chemical warfare, armed with sensors from head to toe. This isn't about replacing humans anymore. It's about redefining the boundaries of what machines are allowed to do. So let's take a deep dive into the world you're waking up to. At exactly 12.01 a.m. on May 26th, China lit up the world stage with the World Robot Competition Mecha Fighting Series, live-streamed across the country. This wasn't a science fair. This wasn't a demo. This was a sports event, designed for thrill, precision, and combat. It looked like a bizarre but hypnotic fusion of esports, MMA, and a sci-fi blockbuster. Full-sized humanoid robots took center stage. They weren't stumbling little prototypes. They were real, over-a-meter-tall machines weighing more than 35 kilos, throwing punches, sidekicks, and even spinning aerial strikes like trained athletes. These machines weren't fighting randomly. Behind each one stood a human controller at a console, piloting their robotic fighter in real time. This wasn't AI chaos. It was human-machine symbiosis. The algorithms handled balance, torque, and collision detection, everything happening under the hood. But it was the human pilot who decided when to jab, when to feint, when to retreat. Think of it like high-stakes chess, except every move has a risk of your million-dollar robot getting body slammed on a live stream. And the tech? Insane. The Unit G1, the flagship from Unitry Robotics, was a standout star. With proprietary actuators, insane bandwidth, and enough onboard computing to recover from a knockdown in seconds, it performed like a digital gladiator. When it hit the mat, it popped up with featherweight boxer reflexes. No one watching could deny it. These robots weren't toys. They were battle-tested machines trained in the most brutal R&D environment, the ring. But this goes way beyond entertainment. Shi Fong XD, a lead researcher at the Sensums Intelligence Institute, was ringside pointing out the deeper value. Fighting demands full-body coordination and exposes flaws in mechanical endurance faster than any lab test ever could. A backflip in the ring isn't just crowd-pleasing. It's proof the same systems can be applied to warehouse bots dodging obstacles, factory arms avoiding crashes, or even rescue bots navigating debris. Failure is public, but so is success. And that means engineers learn fast, talent gets spotted, and investments pour in. Speaking of money, China's Institute of Electronics predicts the humanoid robot industry could hit $120 billion by 2030. That's not a typo. That's a transformation of economies. That's why companies like Unitry, Engine AI, Booster Robotics, and Agbot are already hyping up a bigger event in December. Autonomous rounds, heavier frames, mechs built for war and work. This isn't a sideshow. It's a new frontier. But while those battle bots were swinging fists, something quieter but no less powerful happened in the world of creative AI. A tool called Deep Agent dropped a major update that might just kill off manual video editing. Forever. Imagine this. You type a sentence, just one sentence, and out comes a fully edited TikTok or YouTube short. Visuals, music, transitions, captions, pacing, it does it all. Automatically. Want to make a top 10 countdown? It adds numbers, lines them up to the beat, and even makes sure the energy doesn't drop so viewers don't scroll away. You don't even need clips. Deep Agent finds them. You want narration? Just paste your script, choose an avatar, and boom. It lip syncs with shockingly realistic voiceovers. Background music tailored to tone? Check. And the whole thing is perfectly formatted. No more black bars. No more clumsy crop jobs. I've seen people turn boring blog posts into cinematic explainers. Teachers are creating mini science breakdowns. Travelers are making vlogs out of simple bullet points. And now there's even a weekly contest. Win $2,500 if your AI video tops the charts. For anyone who's been putting off content creation because editing is a hassle, Deep Agent just erased the barrier. This isn't the future of content. It's the demolition of creative gatekeeping. Now, if that feels like a whirlwind, hang on. 
Because just across the city, another breakthrough quietly unfolded. UB Robotics, best known for its six-figure industrial bots working the floors of Foxconn and BYD, finally revealed the price tag for its long-rumored consumer robot, $20,000. That's right, a robot designed not for factories, but for homes, for your living room. According to Chief Brand Officer Michael Tam, their first wave will include around 1,000 units, with plans to ramp production tenfold by 2026. And before you say, 20 grand, pause and think. In China's rapidly aging society, home caregiver robots are not a luxury. They are a necessity. These machines aren't just gadgets. They're companions. They can handle reminders, lift light objects, even help with basic mobility. No, they're not rosy from the Jetsons, not yet. But for one-fifth the price of UB's industrial bots, and in a country struggling with labor shortages in elder care, the market is very real. The race now isn't about creating perfect humanoids. It's about scaling production, building trust, and normalizing the idea of a robot taking care of your parents. Meanwhile, over in the United States, the military is playing a very different game. At Dugway Proving Ground in Utah, the U.S. Army just signed a $1.7 million contract for a robot straight out of a spy novel, The Portin Man. This isn't a flashy battle bot or a household assistant. It's a hyper-realistic mannequin built to simulate human movement, complete with over 100 embedded sensors, designed to survive and test chemical and biological attack gear. Portin Man walks like a human, moves like a soldier. It's been engineered using precise anthropometric data, so every limb, every joint, every motion mirrors an actual soldier's biomechanics. And when it's geared up in hazmat suits or chemical defense kits, Researchers can finally get real feedback on survivability without putting lives at risk. This isn't about performance. It's about survival. It's a ghost soldier standing in harm's way so our troops don't have to. So now ask yourself, where are we going? Robots that fight like athletes. AI that creates like artists. Machines that care for our elderly. Dummies that prepare for doomsday. The divide between human and machine is blurring. Rapidly. And it's no longer about replacing human roles. It's about machines evolving to meet us, step into our world, and take action alongside, or ahead of us. This week didn't just mark progress. It marked a point of no return. Robots crossed into spaces we thought they'd need decades to reach. And they did it quietly, powerfully, and publicly. From boxing rings to TikToks, from living rooms to war zones. AI isn't just knocking at the door. It's already inside. So, the only question left is, are we ready? Make sure to like, comment with your thoughts, and subscribe to AI Insight for weekly updates on the frontier where humans and machines meet. The future just got real.